Hi guys, Robbie 46 here, and I'm just bringing you some news which happened in Mizano at the weekend. Um, for those of you that may not have heard, um, firstly, Grassini will not be having Hondas next year. Um, there were rumours going around that they were going to be running the Aprilia team. And yes, they are. It's been announced that Grassini will be running the Aprilia team in MotoGP. And their two riders are going to be Marco Melandri, whoopee a do, um, who has said that uh, he wants to be back in MotoGP, but he doesn't want to be there just to make up the numbers. Marco, please don't come back. Because that's all you're going to be doing. Um, and their second rider is going to be Bautista. So Bautista still has a ride. Um, no one knows how competitive the Aprilia's are going to be. I'm I'm a bit sceptical to be honest. Because I don't think they're going to be as competitive as they think they're probably going to be. Um, I know that when the Aprilia was built for World Superbikes... Um, it was basically built as a MotoGP bike, it had a pneumatic valve engine, um, and it, it it was really quick in World Superbikes. But I just I don't think it is gonna be competitive in in MotoGP. To be honest, um, they may prove me wrong. I, I hope they do. It would be good to have another another manufacturer up um, at the sharp end. As long as it's not Melandry, um, who's at the sharp end. Because um, I'm not really a Melandry fan because he he done quite well in MotoGP when he was on the Honda um, and the Fortuna Yamaha. Um, but I don't know. Since he's been in World Superbikes, he's just come across has been a bit of a twat to be honest um, and his overtaking is he won't be able to overtake in MotoGP like he does in World Superbikes um, because I can imagine what would happen especially if he'd done something like that to Marquez I think Marquez would just like kick him off his bike or something um, but anyway that's that um, Aventia Racing has also announced that they are not going to be running the Kawasaki open bikes next year um, they're going to be running Ducatis, um, and it may be possible that Hector Barbara will be on a Ducati at the next round. So, I mean, it would be good for them, but I, they're going to be having this year's spec Ducati, so there's a possibility there's going to be six Ducatis on the grid next year. Um, Honda won't like that. Um, so... Hector Barber is going to be staying in the team. Um, I'm not sure if Mike DeMeglio is. Um, I hope, I don't think he deserves to be in MotoGP anyway because I know he's, he won the 125 title but he'd done nothing in Moto2 um, or 250s for that. So I, I don't even know how he got into MotoGP. He probably just had a load of money. Um, so next year Aventia Racing will have Ducatis. It will be the 2014 spec Ducatis. Um, so that's that and the other bit of news I have which I'm really happy about and I know a lot of people will be including Marquez um, Scott Redden I mean I know that Grassini um, aren't going to be having Hondas they're going to be on Aprilia so a lot of you might be thinking what's happening with Scott um, me included uh, I was getting a bit worried that as good as he is that he might be really unlucky and not end up with a ride at all but luckily Mark VDS and moving up to MotoGP thank god they are having um, the factory Honda that Grassini have got at the moment and Scott Redden is going to be in the team and Scott Redden is going to be on a factory Honda next year so for those Brits out there um, we're going to have two Brits on factory Hondas um, Hopefully, I know it's, it's basically going to be the last chance for Crutchlow. Um, he, we know he hasn't performed on the Ducati, but we know he can perform. Um, I just hope that this year on the Ducati hasn't dented his confidence that much that he, he he's basically forgotten how to ride fast. Um, hopefully that won't be the case, and hopefully he'll be back near the front. Um, 
next year. But yeah, I'm so happy for Scott because all this season he's been doing such a good job. Um, I've been really impressed with him, and for him to get on a factory bike now is is the next step. Um, and it's going to be so good to watch him on a factory bike. Um, because he's he's got really aggressive style like Marquez has. So I'm hoping he's going to um be near the front. Um. And I'm sure that's a plan for him anyway. Uh, so, yeah, good luck to Scott next year. And um, I hope it all works out. And let's hope he gets on the podium. But anyway, guys, that's the uh, the news I've got for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rev the nuts off that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more MotoGP 14 and MotoGP content. And in the meantime, guys... Keep it trackside, and I shall see you guys in the next race. See you!